You yeah, tell me. listen. But this is just grilled corn, my friend. Just grilled corn. That's not very exciting. You know, who gives a hoot about some grilled friggin' corn? You know how many women across this this doggone nation and around the world don't know how to cook a certain type of a corn? All they do is throw it in some water, probably put some sugar on it and some butter and salt, and that's it. You're giving them different ideas. Mm, not so much. It's yes, like you can't know that. Well, like guess that. what? When they're on the internet and they look at and they look at YouTube, they'll see Dawn Smith cooking her style corn. Okay? I want everybody to get a real good look at this corn. This corn tastes so good, man. I've been eating it for years. Usually she leaves the husk on. But but, today, but to, what you say, but today we're trying it without we're it. Trying it without the husk. To see if it cooks up the same, if it'll be the same texture, if it's still the same. And what if it doesn't? If it doesn't, then we won't do it again. Again, experimentation. You try it, if it doesn't work, you don't do it again. Is if it, it works, something else to add to your repertoire. That's beautiful. Is there any other type of a corn you prepare? I would say you know what I did last year? I did some no, I don't know what you did last Let's year. Tell you explain this to me. Explain to the world I what they did. See, you got to keep it clean. You can't cuss. I'm not cussing. You say, yeah. You know what? This isn't going anywhere anyway. This it's is going. Me and you. It's not going anywhere. No, it's just going. You've already promised me. I didn't promise you that. I didn't promise that. You said you wouldn't put me on the internet anymore because I don't want to be there. I so, didn't promise you that. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. I but did anyway, not. What I, I said you did. I didn't promise you that. Yeah. I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't promise you that. You did. So anyway, what was I saying to you? I don't know. What were you saying? Oh, you asked me about other... You have a brain about, fart? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Um, other porn. The Will you please look at the porn. camera when you're talking to me, please? You know what? I'm talking to you, not used to the camera. You're talking to the camera? No. I am the camera. Did I tell you? I don't want to. I am... I am the camera. It's pretty good. Anyway, the cream style corn. That was good. You know, just some fresh corn off the husk. I'm sorry, off the cob. Cut it off. Use the corn milk that comes off. You know, that's the juice. You scrape off the corn kernels. Yeah. You just scrape with the back of your knife. You scrape the juices out. You put that in there. You like shake some bacon. Fry some bacon and use the bacon grease or the bacon drippings. And you throw the corn in there, some salt, some pepper, just good fresh sweet corn. Well, you know, I understand that uh, recently uh, your grandmother passed away, and I understand that uh, you're grieving that. Uh, but your grandmother was renowned for making corn pudding. Could you explain to us just how she used to make that? I don't know exactly, but I did find the recipe. I'll have to go over it and see how to make it and get satisfied. Because she wasn't exact on measurements, so I'm going to have to fiddle with it and see if I can, you know, duplicate it. If I can do that, I'll see. But well, what's some, what are some of the ingredients that she put in that you know of? It is, uh, it's just corn. It's corn, it's cream style corn. It's uh, butter, and sugar, and some condensed milk. You know, so I pretty much know what goes in it. It's just me trying to see if I can replicate it. I'll just have to fiddle with it get the, uh, the nominations right, but I have an idea. Well, what were the things that people used to say about the taste of the pudding? Did they really enjoy the pudding? Yes, everybody loved the corn pudding. It reminded them of home and down south, and yes, it was reminiscent of childhood's past. Yes, that's what they all said, but I personally have never made it. Since man was gone, I think we're going to have to try it and see if it's something that we can pass down. Pass down the hoop. No, no, it's not as if my son is going to do but... Uh... You know, one second, you know, I'll, I'll get back to it in a second, but I saw something walk by. Uh, excuse, uh, Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. Come here, Lacey. Say hello to the camera, Lacey. Huh? Say hello to the camera, man. Say hello to the camera. That's it? Hey, camera. That's it? Say hello to the camera. Look at him. Hey, what's happening, man? I see you walking all over there. Where you going? See, you just can't sit down. Lacey, sit. Sit, man. 
downloaded the camera. Lacey. Tell me nobody likes it. You know, your daughter's just like you. She doesn't like the camera. This is not a spotlight. This is just a regular little phone camera. And I, like I said, this, no, no, no. We don't have time for shy in life. You have to be who you are. You are an executive assistant with a very important firm in New York City. And that's why on the weekend you have worked to be no one. And you have worked around some of the most muckety mucks in the business in which you work. And you don't have time to be shy because you are a conductor, a coordinator, a liaison. But yet with all your outgoing personality and dominance on your job. Hmm. Yet you don't want to be in front of a camera to do a little BS show. What is wrong with you, man? Huh? Go on, stop. Your face is too big at the camera. Will you stop? <laughs> stop. Your face is too large at the camera. See, why would you do that? See, you messed up the whole film. And you're eating what now? What are you having? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. What does it look like? It looks like a cherry. Where did you get those cherries from? What, what store did you buy those cherries from? What is this uh, store you're talking about called Wegmans? Where is that at? They're all over the country. I don't know that. Well, I just told you. Now you well, does Wegmans have a better quality of foods and produce there? That's a little more upscale. Yeah. Okay, then everybody, please go to Wegmans and uh, check out their foods and produce. No, don't go there. Well, you need to take some of this in there and create a commercial. Hi, everybody. We're in our backyard and uh, on a Saturday afternoon, and we're eating Wegmans produce. Because Wegmans produce is the best produce in the nation. Oh, boy. It's just about that time for us to eat this good old corn. How many uh, minutes left do you have to have these corn on the grill? So I say so. There's no standard I don't really time. pay attention to time. I look at the food, when it looks like it's ready, that's when it comes off. So then what you're saying is you're not really a real cook, you're just someone who masquerades as one, or you're, you're undisciplined with your timing. Undisciplined? Yes. No. I'm not undisciplined at all. I know by looking at the food when it needs to come off. Okay. Plain and simple. That's good. I'm glad for you. Now I'm going to pan around over here. Uh, trying to maintain the space in between you and the camera and what you're doing because now you're putting this, uh, and you say this is what type of a steak? It's a boneless strip steak. What's the difference between a strip steak and the other steaks? Is there something special about this type of steak? Well, Gary, there's all different parts of the cow, and they show where it comes off of the cow is how the steak is named. So are you asking me if I know what part of the anatomy the strip steak comes from? No. The answer is no. So you have a flank, you have a skirt, you have a strip, you have a ribeye, you have a cheekbone, you have a porterhouse, there are many different parts of steak. And how do they get their name? Their name, once again, is based on where it comes off of the ad. You even have hanger steak. There's so many different cuts of steak. You got butt steak? I'm sure you don't. You don't have butt steak? There has to be a, a, a steak butt. Well, I'll look at you, okay? Next time I'm in the store, I'll check out. A steak butts. Point. Steak butts. You can see, like, I like this. And it's turning brown. Look at some of the little burnt looking kernels. Yes. That's what I like. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that you, uh, shared that with us as we watch Dawn Smith do what she does, everybody. And that's right? a thin steak, so it's going to kind of cook pretty quickly. As we watch Dawn Smith do what she does right here, I'm DJ Grandmaster G, and I'm interviewing Dawn Smith right here on the Dawn Smith Cooking Show. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she will not play to the camera the way I want her to. It always has to be a problem and a, 
and, and a war going against her and whatnot. There's always some pushing and shoving here all the time on the DJ Grandmaster show. You understand? But it's 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 sad because the person where, where, where? the person here that I'm interviewing has a real skill and a talent. And you people on YouTube know her as Dawn Smith. She's my wife. And uh, you've been to our events and you've had her southern style cooking. You know, she cooks all types of southern style stuff. All you people who have been to DJ Grandmaster G and Dawn Smith's summer events, even though we won't be having one this summer, have had the sweet potato pies and the chocolate cakes and the red velvet cakes and the red velvet cupcakes. You understand? You've had the devil's food cakes. You've had the corn pudding and the steaks and the ribs and the chops. You understand? You've had everything that we have to offer here. You've had the drinks. You've had the crabs. You've had the salads. And oh yeah, I want to shout out my man Alex Hyatt because you always eating up the potato salad, but it's all right. We understand it. Again, Dawn Smith cooks all these things and she cooks them well. And if there's somebody out there on YouTube who thinks that they want to give my wife a shot at trying to cook for them or in some kind of a, you know, or in some kind of a show or some kind of a, some kind of a forum where she can showcase her cooking abilities, please get back to me. Okay, at Borman246 at AOL.com. And my wife will definitely cook for you because I'm like I'm saying, she cooks everything well. You know, southern style cuisine. You understand?